what I'm going to do here today is take a look at this ransomware. No more ransomware. Um, this is a ransomware I took a look at um, about, I think, three years ago. It was back in 2018, back when I was using my old laptop. And yeah, that'd make it roughly three years ago. It was about this sort of time. I think it was back in earlier, earlier March. It's March 21st right now. So I took a look at this ransomware and basically just showed what happens when you activate it. But that was all the video showcased. So I'm going to be taking a look at it again. Um, by what I've seen from it, I've only found two videos of it online. One is this video from this guy named Enderman, who I'll get into in a bit. The other video was my video I made about it. So that was really it. I didn't search up online. I just searched up on YouTube. But what I found was um, mostly just videos saying um, videos about um, ransomware decryption tools, things to prevent you, know, for, prevent you from getting hacked or um, taken over by ransomware. So I found this video here, though. This is the important video. I will have a link to the description. Uh, I will have a link to this video in the description below. Now, what this video is is obviously you know the show, a showcase of No More Ransom, and it's from Sky Enderman. Um, I honestly didn't know if I was going to be able to download this or not, because I didn't even know if I was going to be able to find it again. Again, I don't even remember finding it and how I found it in the first place. Maybe it was from this guy, because this is 2017. Um, he led me to this malware repository, which is very helpful, because it has a bunch of different viruses and, and different um, ransomwares and things you can test. So, if you're doing videos like that, you can, um, you can either, um, you can use this, um, repository... To, to help you get viruses and things like that. Or if you just want to test out viruses for yourself and see how they work, just for fun, that also is something that is pretty neat to do. Anyways, I'll have a link to this video in the description, as well as the repository. I have it bookmarked on my main PC, but um, yeah, so here we have the, the, um, the virus itself, and there's a password. So I found the password, it was literally on the video itself in the description, it's my subs are the best. I should have looked, even then there's certain programs that could sort of decrypt um, um, sort of decrypt pa um, blocked raw files that have passwords on them, things like Unrar, which is actually an application I used to have. Anyways, so we have the ransomware file itself here. Let's open up Malwarebytes just to see if it detects it at all first. I don't know how legitimate this one is. It says Enderman in front of it, but it could just be a name change. I'm saying this as in, I don't know if he's modified the file in any way. I hope not. Um, I think it honestly just is a name change. But even if it isn't, it's still ransomware, and Malwarebytes still is probably going to detect it, and the virtual machine is actually now frozen. Uh, Windows Explorer stopped responding. Um, restart the program. This virtual machine is very unstable. When I booted it up, it actually took control of my Ryzen 5 3600, oddly enough. After a quick, quick Windows um, Explorer restart, we have, we're back in business. So, I have an item in quarantine already, and that's probably... Okay, it's normal ransom.exe. So that's already say enough. Malwarebytes already put it in quarantine. Um, I already have it again, so I don't need to restore it. I'm just going to delete. I'm just going to leave this here. But it's already in quarantine, so Malwarebytes knows it exists. Well, that's not why we're here today. If I do delete this... Okay, it still shows up on my desktop. Because this is... I just want to make sure this was a separate file. Let's boot this up. Uh, Malwarebytes... Okay, so here we go again. Um, so already, it knows it's a ransomware, which we're off to a good start. Now, Malwarebytes is a ransom, or, um, an anti-malware, or it's a, it's, um, was it, uh, an antivirus that I would definitely recommend. It's free, you get a 14-day free trial, and even then, you'll still, even after the, the, um, no, it's not a free trial, you got a premium free trial for 14 days. After that, you do have to pay for the premium trial, but you can still use the base application for free, and basically, um, basically, um, what is it? Scan your computer for all sorts of viruses. Now, I used to use McAfee before I found this, but, oh my gosh, it's not letting me do this at all. Manage exclusions. Um, okay. So, copy this. Select file. No, wait. I'm actually going to restore that and then add to exclusions. So already it's pretty, it's fighting me hard on this. Um, I might actually just try this differently. As I was saying though, I used to use McAfee, but then I had a pup on my computer, or potentially unwanted program. I don't know the severity of it, or I didn't know the severity of it, and basically, well, McAfee couldn't get rid of it, just said unable to get rid of it, so I freaked out, looked for a, uh, looked for an antivirus online, and what I found was that Malwarebytes, and it actually got rid of it for me. So, 
that ended up working out perfectly. So I uninstalled Malwarebytes and this happened. Essentially let the file just go loose, I believe, and it activated without me even having to do anything. So it was already, when it activated, it, Malwarebytes quarantined it, and I can't get rid of this, it's frozen right now. But when I activated it, Malwarebytes quarantined it. Now it's out of quarantine, it just sort of froze it, it didn't actually stop it. So it began again, and here an error has occurred in the virtual machine execution. You try to correct the error and resume the virtual machine execution, okay. Except I probably shouldn't have done that because I don't know what the error is. So, I'm back now and it wants me to capture. Um, we're just going to start Windows normally and see what happens. Where we left off, of course, is where um, the ransomware was activated, but it crashed the virtual machine. So let's get rid of this. And it's still captured. Sort of, yeah. We have all these readmes here when this happens. Is Firefox still working? I gotta make sure Firefox works. That's how we're gonna fight this. I need to re-download Malwarebytes. I'm just gonna run it again just to double check, make sure it has everything. Um, normally the graphics, or the, um, not the graphics, the background has changed, but I guess it changed the back. For those of you, while we're waiting for this, wondering what I'm using, I am using a Microsoft officially licensed virtual machine. Microsoft has virtual machines that you can use for your own um, purpose or whatever. They're mainly used for program testing but um, you can pretty much download them and use them however you want, such as the situation right here. Now, um, this again, these are official. This is not um, an illegal virtual machine or anything. This is directly, this is directly from Microsoft. I actually do have only 90 days to use it. So it crashed the virtual machine. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it just crashed it. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to try a few more times just to get this thing to work because you want to see how it does Malwarebytes. Um, uh, attack this or try and get rid of it. So it crashed the virtual machine. Now I'm not exactly sure how that happened. I'm not sure if it was the ransomware doing this or just too many things happening at once. This thing only did have three gigabytes of RAM. I think if anything it just had an overload of too many programs happening at once. So this does not count. Um, essentially it was a fail. I will try and download another virtual machine and get this to work. This time we'll be adding a few more. I'll be adding some more RAM as well as I might be just using Windows 10. Probably just going to do that instead. Um, I might be able to hand certain programs and applications better. That wraps up this video. This video was essentially a fail. And, um, yeah, I wasn't able to act to see how Malwarebytes uses that. But in the next video, which probably will be filmed today, I'd hope, I do know what to do. If anything, I, have to, I do have to um, keep the Malwarebytes installation file, but don't install it yet until I open up the ransomware. So check out the next video. I will have all the links in the description. And... That pretty much wraps us up.